afternoon. It is great to hear this chatter. Uh, my name is Tammy Crane. I'm the president and CEO of Crane Group. And like all of you, I am a long-term advocate for early learning. I am delighted to see all of you there, and we welcome you to the inaugural Symposium on Children where our focus is bringing top science, research scientists together here at OSU to just, there's some nice music in this <laughs> I could sing to this as well. Um, our to, to bring the top researchers here at OSU, to bring to OSU to discuss the state of research concerning preschool expansion. This event today is sponsored by, co-sponsored, by the Crane Center for Early Childhood Research and Policy and by the City of Columbus. It's a wonderful co-sponsorship, so thank you to the City of Columbus for that. Today, preschool expansion is on everyone's mind. Expansion policies are being brought forward by the federal level, the state level, and the local level. And we're hearing about it from President Obama, uh, Secretary of Education Arne Duncan, Governor Kasich, and our own Mayor Coleman. And that is great. We feel momentum really rising. Providing preschool, ac access to preschool for all children is absolutely critical as we can help kids prepare for success in education. By promoting school readiness, it's also important in achieving, in closing the achievement gap between disadvantaged and advantaged children. As we move to providing access, we need to ensure that the policies we put in place um, work together. I am really looking forward to today's presentations and panel as we can take this information back to our community. Thank you for participating, and now it is my distinct privilege to introduce Dr. Laura Justice, who has really been the heart and soul behind the symposium. Dr. Laura Justice is the executive director for the Crane Center, as well as the executive director of the Schoenbaum Center. She is also a distinguished professor here at the Ohio State University's College of Education and Human Ecology. Dr. Justice is an applied researcher who focuses her time and talent in identifying effective intervention for children at risk. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Laura Justice. Thank you, Tammy Crane, for that, for really kicking off this event today. Um, those of you who don't have the pleasure of knowing Tammy Crane, she's um, one of our city's most amazing business women, but she business woman, but she's also a really fierce advocate of early childhood education. So to have someone in our city um, who can really is really just a bonus for all of us. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge the city of Columbus who's here today. Rhonda Johnson, who is the education director for our city, is here today and has partnered and helped to shape this event. Um, this is, um, as was mentioned, the first annual symposium on children. And I'm really hopeful that we're all going to be back here in 10 years, that this, I mean, we'll be coming together. <laughs> 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 regularly and the original impetus behind this was to really highlight for me to highlight at Ohio State the incredible research that goes on in early childhood education and to provide a context to bring people together at this university with these interests and so what we've done today is brought two of the greatest minds who study child development and early childhood education to our space to share with us what they're doing we can learn from our uh, visiting experts, but let's all get. Let's also think about mobilizing ourselves as a community of researchers. Um, I am thrilled at how many people are here today from our community as well, because when we think about early childhood, it's research is one piece of the puzzle, and the other two pieces are policy and practice. And in this room today, we have all three 
sets of people represented. We have researchers, we have practitioners, and we have policymakers, and that's incredible. Um, my job is to let you know what today is gonna look like. Um, the first hour was to get you together, let you make friends and revisit with one another, have lunch. I'm glad you're all here and have been sitting and spending time together. What I'm gonna do is now turn the floor over to two um, very well acknowledged researchers we brought to Columbus today. I'll introduce them shortly. After their presentations, each one will be about 45 or 50 minutes, we will take a break and we have um, refreshments. And then what we're gonna do is reconvene for the second part of the event, which I think is very, very exciting. We have two distinguished lectures. After the break, we're going to have a panel that represents the perspectives of research, practice, and policy. So we can really bring to bear, when we think about early childhood, these differing uh, perspectives. I'm gonna start by introducing our two speakers today. We're starting the day with Dr. Andy Mashburn, who is visiting us from um, Portland State University. He's um, a faculty member in applied developmental psychology. Um, Andy's here because he has written some of the most influential research papers on what aspect of program quality contributes the most to kids learning within early childhood education programs. And frankly, he has a paper that he wrote in 2008, I'm happy to send you a PDF if you write me, um, that really deeply influenced me and the work in the Crane Center. Um, you'll probably talk a little bit about that. Um, so we have Andy Mashburn kicking off um, the afternoon's distinguished le lectures, followed by Dr. Hiro Yoshikawa from New York University, and he's here today because he's doing some of the most profound work. Um, most of his work right now is, um, well, some of his work is set within Boston Public Schools pre-K expansion. And he and his team have been studying what happens when a city goes to scale with pre-K. Does it actually benefit kids? And so he'll be walking us through some of his work um, in that uh, setting. Um, both of these I think you're going to find truly fascinating. Our panelists today, who we'll meet after our break, are representing the world of research as Dr. Stephanie Curenton, an assistant professor with a heavy hand in policy research from Rutgers State University. We also have Senator Peggy Lehner. Um, she's the senator for the 6th Ohio Senate District, which is not Columbus. But we wanted Dr. Lane, or Senator Lehner to be here, <laughs> the doctor senator, um, to be here because she chairs the education committee in our state senate. So she really has her hands on the pulse of education in our legislature. And finally, we have Mr. Jack Fett, who is um, here to represent the perspective of practice. And um, Jack is the director of curriculum and instruction with Olentangy Local Schools. And we went after him to represent practice because um, Olentangy, number one, it's huge. So he has a perspective that governs a very large school district. It's seventh in the state. Um, he's very nearby, but it's a very, very successful district. Um, and so when we think about pre-K expansion, let's see what we can learn from districts that are doing pre-K expansion and instruction very well um, as it is. So let me turn this over first to Dr. Andy Mashburn and get you set with your slides. Oops. And welcome Andy. <laughs> 